Sonic the Hedgehog's 30th anniversary event, Sonic Central, left people kinda wanting more. And, uh, Sony's state of play has got thousands of people lined up waiting for information on Horizon Forbidden West. We'll get into that a little bit later, but for right now, the Sonic event, let's just run down some of the major things that happened in that event. For me, it left me wanting a lot more. I felt like the whole event was kind of meh. There were a few interesting announcements, but a lot of this stuff we already knew, whether it was from leaks or whatever, but my guys, Spawnwave and RGT have been talking about a lot of these things for the last several days, so I was not really surprised by anything in this announcement, except maybe one thing that I am actually pretty excited about. We'll get into that in a minute. So, they announced that uh, there's going to be a Tokyo Olympics game featuring Sonic. Ironically, it does not seem to be a Mario and Sonic title, but just just Sonic. Uh, okay, whatever. I mean, we've seen a ton of these games. They kind of pump them out with every Olympics. It's not really exciting. Uh, strangely enough, really weird collaboration. They've got DLC coming to Two Point Hospital, where you can actually have Sonic characters and some Sonic uh, backgrounds and uh, decorations and things like that in Two Point Hospital, which seems bizarre. But maybe it'll interest some people if that's your kind of thing. By all means, uh, enjoy yourself. Um, some more collaborations. They've got uh, a full Sonic Fighters game playable uh, in an arcade setting inside the upcoming game Lost Judgment, which is a spin-off of the Yakuza series, I guess. Uh, I haven't played the Judgment games, but uh, I guess pretty cool when you can access a game like they did with uh, back in Animal Crossing with some of those NES games. You can actually play a fully featured game inside another game that's always kind of cool. Sonic Colors, we pretty much already knew this was happening. This rumor's been floating around for a while, but we are getting Sonic Colors Ultimate HD on the Nintendo Switch and I think other platforms as well. People are fairly excited about this. Sonic Colors was a pretty great game on the Wii. And I guess it will be fun to play that game again. I actually didn't really play much of Sonic Co Colors. I, I do have it on the shelf here, but uh, I'll be interested in checking it out on the Switch. And then they announced a couple of TV show animation projects, I guess. They've got some kind of short animations based around Sonic Colors uh, called Rise of the Wisps that they'll be releasing. The animation looks okay, I guess. Uh, interested to see what happens with that. Uh, we are going to be getting yet another Sonic compilation, like we've seen on the PS2, the GameCube, the PS3. They pump these things out all the time. It's going to be called Sonic Origins. You're going to be able to play uh, the original Sonic 1, 2, and 3, and I think Sonic CD. Uh, the interesting thing is that we are finally getting Sonic 3 uh, in these compilations. Uh, I guess it has been held up for years in licensing issues because of some of the music being... Uh, produced by Michael Jackson, and there was some problems with licensing with that. I guess they've got that cleared up. I don't know whether they replaced the music or whether they decided to pay Michael Jackson's estate or how that worked out, but we are finally getting to play Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles uh, in a compilation on a modern system, so I guess that's interesting, but again, it's just another one of these compilations. We already have the Sega Ages games. Uh, on the Switch, uh, not number three, I guess. Interesting for that nonetheless. I hope this comes in at a reasonable price point of, say, 30 or $40, because I'm really not interested in paying full $60, $70 for another Sonic compilation. They announced a few little things. Sonic Forces, uh, Team Sonic Racing coming to PS Now, some phone game updates for the Sonic Dash, and... Uh, stuff like that, nothing really interesting. Uh, they talked about the Sonic Prime TV show, 24 episodes cleared that are coming to Netflix next year. Uh, looks kind of interesting, I guess, but uh, time will tell whether that becomes popular or not. They did announce a few kind of tchotchkes, some toys, some jewelry. One thing that they really announced that uh, has got me really excited, and that is a 30th anniversary Encyclopedia 
uh, Encyclopedia of Sonic the Hedgehog. They did similar to this uh, with uh, the Mario Encyclopedia. This comes from Dark Horse Comics. Dark Horse Comics makes some beautiful books. This is going to be a beautiful hardcover with some extra stuff. It looks like it comes in a slip cover and everything. I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering that. I'm really excited to, uh, to get that book and check it out. Uh, but as far as most of the game announcements that they made, kind of underwhelming. I mean, we knew about Sonic Colors, we had a pretty good idea that there was going to be some kind of compilation. We even heard about the Sonic 3 thing a few days ago, so really no surprises along the way so far. We did finally, at the end, get some kind of a teaser for what looks like another next-gen game. Could be Sonic Adventure 3, we don't know. It was a really, just a teaser. We got a little bit of graphics, it looks like some realistic backgrounds. We got Sonic running around in what looks like a pretty realistic forest setting. Uh, kind of reminded me of the Sonic movie sort of look, so a real world vibe maybe, I don't know. We do know that this is going to be next gen, it's going to be on the PS5 and the Xbox series, but it's also going to be on PS4 and Xbox One and Switch and PC, so all platforms uh, will be included. This is supposed to come out in 2022. Uh, so I guess time will tell what that's actually going to be. We'll get some more information down the road. Stay tuned to the channel for further updates. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the PlayStation State of Play. If you like what you've seen so far and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you would. It helps out a ton. Anyways, PlayStation State of Play. Okay, so we were kind of expecting that this was going to have a little bit more to it. There was some rumors that, okay, we were getting 14 minutes of gameplay for Horizon Forbidden West. There was going to be an extra few minutes. It was actually just breaking down some of the gameplay. So, what do I think about this? Well, uh, if you are one of the lucky few, well, it's not even a few, 10 million or so roughly consoles have been sold, but if you are one of the lucky few to own a PS5, you know the pain right now waiting for some kind of next-gen game. The system launched with three or four games, Sp Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, Demon's Souls, Sackboy, uh, we've got Ratchet and Clank coming, but it's been kind of a wasteland for the last, I mean, the system's been out six, what, seven months almost now, and uh, yeah, so people are absolutely dying for a real next-gen experience on their PS5, and Horizon Forbidden West looks like it's going to be that answer people are looking for. This game looks fantastic. If you've never played Horizon Zero Dawn, the first game on the PS4, I highly recommend checking that out. Fantastic game. It's set like a like a thousand years in Earth's future, so you see ruins of uh, you know places that you might recognize. In the second game, uh, they've really upped the level. This really looks like a next-gen game. The graphics are fantastic. The gameplay is way more dynamic. There are so many different things that you can do. So many cool gadgets from all this future tech that they're uncovering. Of course, they've got these monsters walking around, and you can harvest the monsters to get parts, and you can also uh, go into old ruins and things like that and get technology parts that you can use to upgrade your weapons and even take over some of those uh, monster animals machines and uh, ride them. This is looking really cool. They've added a lot of really interesting functionality. So this is absolutely a game, no question. Because this is also launching on the PS4 uh, day and date, we don't have a release date, but because this is launching on the PS4 and the PS5, I think we can expect this to be a huge seller. I would not be surprised in the least if this game did four or five million in sales in its first couple of weeks, uh, kind of like Monster Hunter Rise did. Uh, this game is just going to have a huge impact. I think it's pretty safe to say that everybody who owns a PS5 at this point is probably going to buy this game because there's almost nothing else to play. So in that 16 minutes of gameplay, which some of which you're seeing now, uh, you know, absolutely looks like a fantastic experience, very similar to 
uh, other major Sony titles. You can see that Sony kind of bleeding through in the color schemes and the backgrounds, very similar to the types of things that we see in God of War and Uncharted and that sort of thing. Really good quality. Uh, I think the gameplay and the cinematics are... One thing I really noticed... It, it's absolutely seamless on the PS5 anyway, going from cutscenes to the actual gameplay. There's not only are there no loading screens, but there's virtually no difference in the graphics between the cutscenes and the gameplay. Absolutely stellar. I can't wait to check this out. I do not have a PS5 as of yet, and this game is really making me want a PS5, even though I don't really have that many other games on the PS5 that I would be interested in even coming in the next year. But this one is one to watch out for. So, I don't know. Let me know, guys. Did you catch that state of play? Did you see the full video? What are your thoughts? Are you going to be picking this up? Do you have a PS5? Or are you going to pick this up on the PS4? I imagine it's still going to look pretty good. Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS4 looked fantastic for the time. I think it still looks fantastic. So, uh, so what are you guys going to do? Let me know down in the comments. Are you picking up the PS4 version, the PS5 version? Or are you just going to wait for a sale and let it... Uh, let it ride. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay classy.